welcome back to my channel guys today we are going to be making some spanish rice and i'm jumping right in as you can see we started off with our onions and green pepper uh, in our pot and we're just going to mix this up and give this a chance to saute and after this becomes translucent like you see we are going to then go ahead and add in our um, goya sofrito all right, now that's a tomato-based um, sauce, and we're just gonna go ahead and mix that up. And um, once we have our sofrito in there, that's when we'll go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. You don't wanna add it in before because it will burn. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and season our mix here, or our base. Um, so we have a packet of sazon. I'm using some Nord chicken seasoning, some crushed red pepper flakes, and I'll also add in some black pepper here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and get that mixed up. It's gonna be like a base. This is a base you can use in stews, soups, rice, but today we're making some Spanish yellow rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all up. And then we're gonna give this a chance to saute. And you'll know that this has sauteed long enough because you see that oil there that kind of floated to the top. And right to that, we're going to go ahead and add in our can of green pigeon peas. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good mix. And we're going to allow this to simmer for a little as well and thicken back up. Because the water from the Goya um, would have thinned out this little sauce mixture here. So right to that, we're going to add our washed clean rice. And again, I am using jasmine rice for this. You can use white rice. That's typically what is used, but I'm just a fan of jasmine rice. So that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to go ahead and get this all mixed up. And when this mixes up, guys, we're just going to go ahead and cover and put our heat on very low uh, so that all the moisture in the rice um, can go ahead and cook the rice or begin to cook the rice. So I put the top on there for about 10 minutes of that simmering on low. The water has now dried out and I'm just going to go ahead and give it another mix. And after the mix, we're going to be adding some more moisture to our pot because our rice isn't cooked yet. We just wanted to allow all that flavor to go ahead and get soaked in. So now we're going to add here another uh, couple cups of water. So you can see exactly uh, what this rice looks like here. You can slowly add to your rice um, in the event that you aren't sure exactly how much to add. You want to have just a little bit more water than rice. And put the top on there and let that steam really low, guys. You do not want to have your fire up high. The key to this rice is patience. So you'll see after we took in that top off, our rice is steamed. And you see I'm just forking through there. Now your rice is fine at this point, but I do finish mine off in the oven just to give it an extra fluff. So you see our rice there, it's still pretty wet. I'm just going to go ahead now and um, allow that to steam for another minute or two. And then I pop it right in the oven here on 375. And I allow that to uh, steam or bake in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then after that, here's our rice. We take it out, we fork it through. It's nice and fluffy. Guys, let me know how this rice worked out for you down in the comments. I paired mine up with some lamb, green beans, and tostones or plantain. And um, that's it. Let me know how it worked out in the comments for you guys. As always, thanks for stopping. Bye!